okay so trigonometry is very important part of engineering no matter which branch you are in you have to it, it will it will uh, be with you for all the four years and you will not learn trigonometry specifically you know in, in engineering mathematics okay you have to uh, it, it, uh, it, it's a prerequisite you, you, you have learned it this in uh, your in your 12th and your PUC okay we will just revise whatever you have learned in 12th and PUC we'll start from the right angle triangle right so if you have a right angle triangle like this okay this is the angle theta this is the angle between two sides okay and this is a, this angle is 90 degree the side opposite to the theta the side opposite to the angle is called opposite side the side adjacent to the angle is called adjacent side and the longer side on in the right angle triangle is called hypotenuse okay so the ratio of these three sides okay that uh, and uh, it uh, the ratio of these three sides depend on the angle theta if the angle theta is more opposite will be more and if angle theta is less opposite will be less and then the ratios change right so based on we have we have six combination of ratios right Th those are the six trigonometric functions six functions of trigonometry what are the six functions of trigonometry the first three of the six functions are sine of theta sine of theta cos of theta and tan of theta okay so what is sine of theta sine of theta is the length of opposite side by the length of hypotenuse okay so if you take the ratio of this side and this side it will give you sine of the theta so sine of the angle theta and what is cos of theta if you take the ratios of adjacent and hypotenuse that is the cos of the theta and what is tan of theta tan of theta is the ratio of sine and cos it is the ratio of sine theta over cos theta okay so if you divide sine theta over cos theta what will what will help what will you get h and h will cancel you will get opposite over adjacent so this is, it is the ratio of this side and this side so these are the first three trigonometric functions okay and the remaining three trigonometric functions are the inverses of these three these three functions okay so what is the inverse of sine theta cosecant theta is the inverse of sine theta so the cosecant theta is what 1 over sine theta okay or it is hypotenuse over opposite okay and the second sorry and the fifth trigonometric function is secant theta which is inverse of cos theta so secant theta is 1 over cos theta okay so or hypotenuse over adjacent okay you will mostly use it as inverse of cos theta rather than hypotenuse or adjacent okay and the final the sixth one is cot theta so what is cot theta cot theta is inverse of tan theta okay so if it is inverse of tan theta then it is inverse of sin theta or cos theta which is cot theta is cos theta over sin theta so these are the six fundamental trigonometric functions okay so the first three are the ratio the first two are ratios of opposite over hypotenuse adjacent over hypotenuse the third one is the ratio of sine and cos the first two and the remaining three are inverses of these okay so you should know this relation in engineering this is very important tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta and this relation cot theta equal to cos theta over sine theta and these two relations okay so in, an engineer's perspective of trigonometry starts from here the ratio uh, the the trigonometric functions and their inverses okay you, you will never have to use opposite over hypotenuse or adjacent over hypotenuse so this, these are the six trigonometric functions okay so next uh, after this what you have studied you, you study trig, uh, trig identities right trigonometric identities these are the identities okay these are the first formulas of trigonometry you learned okay so where did you start where do you where, uh, where do you get the first formula of, of trigonometry see according to Pythagoras theorem right this is this is a right angle triangle the sum of the sum of squares of these two sides is equal to square of this side right so that is opposite square plus adjacent square is equal to hypotenuse square opposite square plus adjacent square is equal to hypotenuse square okay so if you divide the entire equation by its square or each of the terms by its square what will you get you will get o square over h square right o square over h square plus adjacent square over h square hypotenuse square 
is equal to h square r square is 1. Okay. But what is opposite over hypotenuse? Opposite over hypotenuse is sin. So opposite square over hypotenuse square is sin square of theta plus adjacent over hypotenuse is adjacent over, adjacent over hypotenuse is cos theta. So the square of adjacent over hy hypotenuse is cos square theta and this is equal to what? This is equal to 1. So from Pythagoras theorem, this is this is Pythagoras theorem. So you what I'm trying to do is connect the fun trigonometry to the most fundamental theorem you know that is Pythagoras theorem. So in if we tweak the Pythagoras theorem, if we uh, instead of taking this length of the sides, if we take the ratios of the sides, you will get the first trigonometric identity. This is a very important trigonometric identity. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. You know this trigonometric identity on itself, but where does it come from? It comes from the Pythagoras theorem. Okay. The second trigonometric identity is just divide the first trigonometric identity by sin square. Okay. So what will you get? Okay. First, let's divide by cos square. So if you divide this, the first trigonometric identity by cos square, what will you get? You will get sin square theta over cos square theta plus cos square theta over cos square theta is equal to 1 over cos square theta. You divided the first trigonometric identity by cos square theta. So what will you get? This will be sin square theta over cos square theta. What is sin theta over cos theta? It's tan theta, right? So it is squared means it is tan square theta. Cos square theta over cos square theta is 1. And 1 over cos theta. What is 1 over cos theta? It is secant theta. So 1 over cos square theta is, so this is plus 1. If it cancels, it will get it will on. And 1 over cos square theta is secant square theta. So the second trigonometric identity is 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta. Okay. So there is only Pythagoras theorem and these two trigonometric identities. These two will give you tan, the inverse of these three will give you these three and Pythagoras theorem will give the first trigonometric identity. Dividing first trigonometric identity by cos square theta will give second trigonometric identity. And the third trigonometric identity you will get by, get from dividing the first trigonometric identity by sin square. So if you divide the first trigonometric identity by sin square, it is sin square over sin square theta plus cos square theta over sin square theta is equal to 1 over sin square theta. So you divided the first trigonometric identity by sin square. What will you get? So sin square theta, sin square theta cancels. It is 1. Right. So cos square theta over sin theta. What is cos theta over sin theta? It is cot theta. So it is 1 plus, right, cot square theta is equal to, what is 1 over sin? 1 over sin is cosecant theta. So it is cosecant square theta. So the three trigonometric identities, three fundamental trigonometric identities are sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta, and 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosecant square theta. Okay. So please make note of these and you know tape it on your wall or make them your desktop wallpaper or something because these are going to stay with you forever. If you if you are if you are decide if you are come here to become an engineer, these are the these are your ABCDs. Okay. So we'll continue with the next trigonometric formulas. Okay.